we have fava beans. And fava beans, you may know them as broad beans, are a wonderful vegetable in Puglia. And here I've cooked them with some potatoes, you see? Just until they're very soft. Then I've drained them and put them into a food processor. You want to puree these. If you don't have a food processor, you're using a blender. Here is what fava beans look like when they're dried. These are dried and split, and you can have them in the wintertime. So you want to puree them, and then give a little cooking water. Add a little bit of the water that you cook them in into the food processor. I already added a little bit, and now I want to add just a drop of olive oil. So, oh, about two tablespoons of olive oil goes into that. And that is smelling wonderful. So now, I can take this out. I gotta keep my eye on that pasta. And now for this, you can serve this in a number of ways. As is, is perfect. And to do it, get a spoon out, you would take some of this fava bean mixture, you see, and put it right on a plate like this. This is how the Pugliese eat this. I had this in a wonderful restaurant called La Pignata in Bari. And then with that, I want some chicory. And here's some chicory that I've just cooked in boiling water. And what you want to do is just put that around the fava bean puree. I'm going to use my hands because I always use my hands at home, so why shouldn't I use them for you? And just get it around, you see, like so. And then you want to have with this some uh, extra virgin olive oil to go over the top. Now, if you wanted to really do this up nicely for a party, what you would do is put the fava bean mixture in a bowl and mold it and let it get a little, let it solidify a little bit. And then you can turn it over as, as a, uh, in a mold and you'll have a nice molded effect. And then you put a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil over the top.